Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. Yes, uh, in the previous video, we already learned about how to upload the program from PLC S200 Smart Model CPU SR30. Yes, uh, today I have topic more about how to read the data from encoder by using uh, PLC S7 Smart 200 Smart Yes So uh, first go to uh, software Tab 7 Microbin Smart Yes I would like to introduce some part that we uh, use for read the data from encoder Yes. So uh, first, this is a PLC. Yes. This is a PLC S7 uh, 200 Smart CPU SR30. Yes. And uh, this is a connector PPI cable. Yes. That I already connected from uh, PLC to uh, computer okay and uh, this is a encoder yes encoder we can uh, increase and decrease value that we want okay And uh, one more, this is a button reset that uh, if we want to reset the value, we can push the button, the, uh, the value of encoder will reset to zero. Okay, so I will show you in the software. So uh, let's start. First, communication between uh, our computer to PLC S7 200 yes so uh, click communication to confirm that we uh, can connect it or not now it it finding the CPU yes Right now, it found one CPU that uh, connected already. So uh, this data is so uh, connected with PPI cable address number two and uh, transmission rate is 9.6 kilobyte per six. So let OK. To read the data from encoder, first go to uh, tool yeah and then uh, high speed counter go to high speed counter yes first I uh, choose the high speed counter number zero yes number zero totally it uh, have six yeah it has six high speed counter but right now I use high speed counter number zero first okay so click next yeah HIS number zero and next again yeah uh, this is the we must select the mode for uh, read data from encoder that we want for example mode number zero yeah mode number zero uh, single face up down counter with internal direction control no reset input okay so uh, we can read the manual operation from this our this uh, mode and uh, hell in the hell file also have also yeah 
So right now I choose mode number 4 yeah. Single phase up and down counter with external direction control yeah. If we want to up and down we just uh, adjust the, the, the encoder Use reset input yeah. and also has reset input has reset input uh, if we want to reset to zero we can use the input for reset the value yes it is the meaning of use reset input right now uh, click next yes so it is the default example I choose the VD0 for PV VD0 okay so click next this one uh, no need to tick any uh, checkbox click next next again and uh, click next yeah this is a very important for uh, manual operation right you see uh, HSC0 clock connect to I0.0 .0 that I already show you in the actual PLC and uh, HI, HSC0 also direction I0.1 and uh, reset button will connect to I0.4 okay so we use uh, three inputs one for clock input number two is uh, direction it means that we can uh, increase and decrease the value and input number four is the reset so click next again and uh, click generate for finish our configuration okay so uh, right now we already configure the high speed counter so the the block will here and we can open for check the block you see yes automatic generate and also uh, automatic write the address for us so uh, next step go to here main program and uh, go to file and then click here so first we uh, must enable the first scan for on to initial the block right so I click first scan and then uh, initial this block also uh, one more for initial the high speed counter zero block so click here and then go to first scan first scan right and O and then first scan yeah. and uh, initial this block okay so to read the uh, data from encoder we must use the move double bird block yes move double bird block and then uh, AC 0 for high speed counter 0 and this one we can use VD 0 that we already uh, set up on the configuration and this one should be uh, all the way on for uh, connected to energize this block in the power for this block okay 
so uh, right now we already uh, writing the program so let's save the program and choose this one and you can say read data from encoder using PLC S7 to 200 smart CPU SR30 okay. so let download uh, our program to PLC click download and then click download again and uh, stop the CPU yes the program already download from our uh, computer to PLC so we can online and test it so uh, right now you see the value of encoder is still zero yes so if I uh, would like to I would like to uh, adjust the value I might uh, turn off the power first because we download the configuration so I turn off power for PLC yes and after three seconds I turn on again okay turn on power again and uh, we online for check yeah okay so right now the value still zero so I will adjust increase the counter sorry the encoder to see the value you see the value is changed from 0 to 10 12 13 yeah you see If we want to uh, decrease the value, we just adjust decrease, right? See, the value is decrease. And uh, if we want to reset the value, we just press the button reset. You see, the value come to zero. If we uh, reset, and we can. Uh, adjust again the value is uh, change again okay so this is a uh, instruction about how to read data from encoder using PLC S7200 smart model and uh, CPU SR30 and using PBI cable for communication okay so thank you very much for watching my video and uh, we will see you next video and if you like my channel please like comment and share my video also and don't uh, forget subscribe my channel also so thank you very much again and see you next video bye bye